Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the one and only Queen B. After me, there will be none. But you can call me Miss White. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to get on here today and make a video for all of my creative entrepreneurs. I personally own multiple businesses, so I'm wearing a lot of different hats. I'm juggling a lot of different things throughout the day. As a creative, you know, we have a lot of thoughts, a lot of ideas, a lot of creative ideas, a lot of notes, a lot of, a lot of everything. <laughs> and um, sometimes you can find yourself just in the midst of just floating with all of these different ideas and notes and papers and you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna share with you some things that hopefully will help you. And if they do help you, tell me in the comment these are five tips that help me stay organized so i wanted to share them with you so the first tip is to keep a clean space there's a saying that a clear space is a clear mind and it is so true i actually work best from a clear and minimal space that's just my personal preference so what i like to do is start by gathering papers in random areas and putting them all in one big bag. So this could be receipts, magazines, business cards, mail, etc. And then I will designate a time to sort through everything and put it in my filing cabinet. So a major area of my space, I would say, is the kitchen. It's where I spend a good amount of time filming and cooking. So needless to say, when the sink is full of dishes and it's messy, I can get very mentally clouded. I know it can feel like a chore doing dishes, so listening to a Spotify playlist definitely helps. Whatever your mood is, whether it's more uh, Sade, more of a soothing playlist, or more something you can dance to, just go with your vibe and I highly recommend music. And this could be such a therapeutic experience, just cleaning your kitchen, doing your dishes, whether you hand wash, throw them in a the dishwasher like I do. And once it's done, you will feel so clear, I promise. So next would be movement and exercise. This could be anywhere from going to the gym to a home workout. You could do a quick 10 minute yoga flow, stretching, hop on the bike, hop on the treadmill for 30 minutes. Just move your body, stretch, get your heart rate up. And this is gonna do wonders for not only your physical health, but your mental health as well. So this goes without saying, a healthy diet is a healthy body, is a healthy mind. There have been studies that have shown how gut health is directly related to mental health. So nourish your body, put good things in it. You know what's good, you know what's bad, and you'll see the difference. So if you made it this far, congratulations and thank you. This is gonna be the last but not least tip I love Pinterest boards, so I use them frequently. And Pinterest boards, along with lists, will be your best friend as a creative entrepreneur. They're gonna keep you organized and streamlined. Recently, I have been getting into taking my uh, notes and lists to the app on my computer. Um, which is making me feel very Sex in the City, very Carrie Bradshaw, which I love. And let me know what your favorite tip is from this list. You guys have got four. So I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more.